like shoveling, we got more of that coming up. If you'd prefer to ski on top of it, well, there'll be good skiing for the next couple of weeks. That's the weather story from the museum. I'm meteorologist Mark Breen with an eye on the sky. My name is Mark Breen. Uh, I'm the planetarium director and senior meteorologist at the Fairbanks Museum and Planetarium. The old weather sayings that people were using 200 years ago haven't stopped working, and some of them worked exceedingly well. Silly rhymes, you know, read at night, sailors delight, that type of thing, but they really were the science of the day. We developed instruments to measure the weather and understood scientifically how the air works. And it gets into physics, into chemistry, into biology, and so all of those disciplines are sort of combined, understanding how the atmosphere works. The other piece of it has to do with forecasting. The computer models are amazing in the level of detail that they continue to produce, and, and they're getting better. Human impact on, on the globe is certainly undeniable. In 1959, there were three billion people on the planet. In 1999, there were six billion. That doubling of the population came along with increased use of fossil fuels and other human activities creating aerosols, you know, soot and so forth in the air, either blocking radiation from the sun or in some cases trapping it. The humans have had a, a tremendous effect. What effect has the human activity been compared to natural activity? That gets to be the, the question mark. So the idea is that over the next century they see the steady rise of temperatures. If we look back at temperature records, temperatures don't rise steady and they don't fall steady. They go up and down and up and down. There may be a sudden drop in the temperatures for a decade around 2030. What are we going to do when suddenly, you know, we can't produce wheat in the wheat belt of the United States for just two years? Understanding how the climate changes in, in much more minute periods of time, that gets to be a more critical thing as, as we go forward, you know, trying to deal with any climate change.